people. It's more than a presentation. People experience something that changes them. This year marks 20 years since the tragic Columbine High School shooting, a shooting that robbed 13 people of their lives. Rachel Scott was the very first person killed that day. Her family has spent the last 20 years working to tell her story and spread a very important message. 9 and 10's Gabriella Galloway gives us more details on what her family is doing and how Nuevo Public Schools is learning from it. The main message is around my daughter's story is uh, she wanted to start a chain reaction of kindness. Rachel Scott was eating lunch outside Columbine High School when she was shot and killed 20 years ago. But just weeks before, she wrote an essay called My Ethics, My Codes of Life. That essay is now the basis for her father, Daryl Scott's mission. She said, I have this theory that if one person will go out of their way to show compassion, it will start a chain reaction of the same. And although she was fairly popular and had a lot of friends, she went out of her way to reach out to the kids that no one was reaching out to. And those stories, we build lessons around those stories. Daryl created Rachel's Challenge in hopes he could take his daughter's compassion and inspire others to build on her mission. I realized the Im impact her story was having on lives. And so we slowly moved towards schools and began to do assemblies. Let's focus on the mental health. Let's spend time really thinking about the whole child and educating the whole child, not just on the academics. Use her story as an inspiration for empathy and compassion and teaching and modeling kindness to replace some of those behaviors that we see of bullying and discrimination and prejudice. And we call it Rachel's Challenge for a reason because Young people we have found rise to the challenge. Nuego Public Schools is rising up to Rachel's challenge. In the past five years, they've lost five kids to suicide. In Nuego County, Gabriella Galloway, 9 and 10 News.